Oh man, you know what? I really should incorporate this a lot more in client designs. It just looks so good and it's so quick to do it. And it really works on a whole bunch of different images. We've got these 16 by nines. We've got the colorful logos over here as well, working perfectly on the scroll. And we can even do the micro logos that you see on some websites. This going across the whole page is excessive for the micro ones, but it really is working well. So let me go show you how to make this. It's really quick and easy to do. So here in Elemental Page Builder, we're gonna start off by adding our own container. We're gonna click and drag that in here and we're gonna let go. For the settings of this container, we're gonna make it full width. We're gonna make sure that's hundred percent. And then under advanced, we're gonna give a padding of zero. And that's all the settings for this container. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna add the image carousel. Once you have it, just put it into this container over here. Now for the settings of this image carousel, let's go and get our images. In the example that I was showing you, I used five images there. So right now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show it with five images. So let me just get those images now. One thing just to remember quickly about images, do make sure that they're all the same size when adding to the carousel so it gives a very nice laid out effect. Now that I've selected the images I wanna use from my carousel, it's gonna say insert gallery. And now we can just go and stylize this real quick. For the image resolution, what I want is I'm gonna keep this large because mine are all very nice 16 by nine images. For the slides to show, I want to show all of them. I want the slides to scroll just one less. So in my example over here, it's going to be four. The navigation, I don't want to have anything visible. And you do have the option to link it to the main media. That's totally up to you. But for me in this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then under additional options, the autoplay I want off and the infinite loop I want off. Now I'm gonna head over to style. The spacing, I'm gonna change it to custom and I'm gonna give it a 15 pixels just to give it a nice spacing over there. The border radius, I'm gonna to set to 10. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna go over to advanced and under margin, I'm gonna de-link this. The right, I'm gonna say minus 90. And for the left, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna say minus 90. This is just to help pull off that effect. And then the final thing that we have to do is if we scroll down and we go to motion effects, we're gonna say scrolling effects is on. We are going to choose the horizontal scroll and I'm gonna say this as a 2.5. Now that all the settings are done, I'm just gonna publish this quick. And because this is the only thing that I have on this page, I'm just gonna put a space in here and I'm just gonna add a bit of the spacing there so that you can see this effect in action. I'm gonna say publish again. And then you can see this thing working as I'm scrolling up and down. Now, if you want to have that whole crisscross effect, very easy to do. Back in our page builder, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we selected the image carousel. I'm gonna duplicate it three times. And then in the middle one, I'm gonna go to advanced. I'm gonna go back down to motion effects. And for the horizontal scroll, instead of saying to the left, I just say to the right. Then I just go to the third carousel. I must just make sure that the horizontal effect is actually working. So I go to motion effects. And then I'll uh, just make sure that this is working. So I'll just go one up, one down. There's a weird thing when you duplicate this particular widget that the horizontal scroll loses that effect for some reason. So now that I have that, I can go and click publish. And now you can see all the image carousels working just fine. So now the last thing that you'd have to do is just go and change the images of each carousel over here. So let me just go do that quickly. There we go. I have went and selected all my different images for each one of these carousels. If I go and publish, you can see that that's all working just perfectly. If you wanna be really critical about the spacing, this particular middle carousel, I'd go back into it and just make the spacing around it a little bit smaller. So I'd select the carousel, go in advanced, and at the top and bottom, I'd just give it a minus five. There we go, minus five to both. Click publish. Now you can see the spacing in between is a bit better. And again, you can put this for any type of image size. So it isn't limited to just a 16 by nine, as I showed you in the example. You can even do micro logos like this. This is a really cool effect. Or you can do nice big colorful logos as well. And this does work on mobile as well, so you don't have to worry about that. And there was no code to be put in. I hope you found this video quite useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Those two things really make a big impact on a small channel like mine. And it really does help me navigate on what content to make next for you guys. If you have any suggestions or comments, then just put a link down below and let me see what I can do for you. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.